guys in this heat can do very well at both of these movements in lane eight, Ben Smith, and also in lane three, Josh Bridges. Rowing 1,000 meters, five rounds of 25 pull-ups and seven very easy, quick, light jerks at 135. Again. And here we go, 1,000 meter row. After that, five rounds, 25 pull-ups and seven push jerks at 135 pounds. And on this initial 1,000 meter row, you're certainly not gonna win the event, but you could possibly lose it. Now we haven't seen one person that's been off the rower first, it's actually finished the event in first. So again, it's not all about the row, but you have to be able to stay with the packs. The athletes that are better at the pull-ups, you know, again, they, that's what this whole race is, is in the pull-ups. So something unique here is we've had Rich Froney, Marcus Hendren, and Scott Panchik all were basically doing the same 1,000 meter row in Jackie, the regional, and all three of those athletes all basically finished in within one second of each other. I mean, they were flying, that was blazing there. So it'll be interesting to see what it'll do when you add another 85 pull-ups on top of that. Jackie is one of those named workouts where you do 1,000 meters on the rower, then you do 50 thrusters at 45 pounds, and you close it out with 30 pull-ups, and there was a Mad scramble to the finish line at the Central East Regional. Rich Schroeder was part of that. The time to beat Lacey Kovacs out of Budapest, Hungary. Nine minutes, 10.4 seconds. All these athletes know exactly what this row is. It's just a, 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 a task they have to get through before the real workout starts. All of them want to be, you know, they want to have a good time. They're not trying to get their best time right now, but they want to be solid, they want to be strong, they want to have enough energy to get through those rounds of the pull-ups. Josh Bridges in lane three. Might not be first off the row, he doesn't have a good thousand meter time, but Scott Panchik currently sits in sixth place overall, trying to work his way up the leaderboard. Panchik in his CrossFit Games debut last year, finished fourth. He was second behind Rich Froning at the Central East Regional Competition. You can see right there, Scott Pantic's pulling a 142-500 split. That's a good time. That's going to get him right under the right around the, the 330 mark. That's exactly where he wants to be along with everyone else. They're all going to be sitting there. You're not going to see them dip into the 130s or at least low 130s. They want to be able to keep that energy for the rest of the workout. Approaching the two and a half minute mark here on this initial 1,000 meter row. There is Josh Bridges. He had his worst finish of the competition in row one. It was the first part of that half marathon row. He finished near the bottom of the pack, so you do not expect him to get off the row at first here. The row is not friendly to those of, uh, that are vertically challenged. This doesn't work for out them. They're not able to pull that, that uh, chain out far enough. The machine isn't going to read enough distance on it, but he's got a strong pull. He'll be in the pack. Again, in, in the SoCal Regional, we, were, we uh, rode against him in that Jackie workout. Not that he was that far behind, so all he has to do is stay in the pack, and then he knows that once he hits the bar for the pull-ups, he's going he's gonna to just move at that point. The judges behind the athletes all had their hands in the air. That means that they are on their final 250 meters of this 1,000-meter row. Then it's on to the meat of this event. Pull-ups and shoulder to overhead. Jason Klepa has definitely put in a lot of road time. Through fir the first and second row events, he did just unbelievable. Won the, the first event, which is a sprint. And he looks great right now. Kalipa's the first man off the rower, but Fisher, Frone, and McKay and Pantic are all close behind him. 25 pull-ups here on this first of five rounds. Frone, the overall leader's in the middle of your screen. On the left, in the green is Garrett Fisher. He currently occupies third place, and Jason Kalipa sitting in second. And it's Kalipa through 16 pull-ups. In first place, he's about three reps ahead of Rich Froning and Garrett Fisher. So Josh Bridges came off the row for about eight seconds after Jason Kalipa. But look at the tempo of his pull-ups. Those short arms, rapid-fire pull-ups. You're not going to have anyone else to go that fast. Kalipa and Frody are on the bar. Pantic is there, and now Josh Bridges as well. So Josh Bridges has some time to make up some ground. If he can keep that pace on the pull-ups, he can challenge for the lead here. The time to beat, nine minutes, 10.4 seconds. It belongs to Lacey Kovacs, and now Josh Bridges on to his second round of 
pull-ups and challenging for the top spot. Jason Khalifa on the left of your screen. He's on the his pull-up. Scott Panchik in the white shorts and Rich Froning on the left of your screen in the all-black. He's on his second round of pull-ups as well. Just unbelievable the amount of pull-ups that these guys are going through for their second round. You're going to see very, very few breaks this early. But, I mean, they're just, they're hammering these right now. These are not little guys. I mean, they're all weighing, except for John Bridges, of course, are all about 190 and above. So they're moving well. Bridges unbroken again. And now to his second set, a seven short of overhead. He's won one event so far today. That was in the morning in Naughty Nancy. The running in the overhead squats. If he can win here, he will move up significantly up the leaderboard. He currently sits in seventh place. 100 points would certainly help his cause. He knew that this is his event right here. Anything that has a lot of body weight movements, he's going to do really well at, especially if it's a range of motion issue. He is flying through these clubs, and he knew he knew this is his strength. He knew coming in here that this was going to be his event, and it's his event to win. Rich is your overall leader on the left. The two men chasing him and battling for the top spot on the podium, Rich Froning and Jason Khalifa. The box on your right, the two of them getting to the pull apart exactly the same time. Bridges gets through 15 and hops off. Again, I think that's a smart move. He needs to conserve himself. Yes, he's ahead of those guys, but he wants to be solid through all five rounds of those pull ups. That's a big chunk still at 15 to get through there. So strong work so far. Josh Bridges through 25 and now back to the barbell. Six minutes have gone by. Bridges with more than three to chase down Lacey Kovacs and lock up his second victory of the day. Rich Froning currently sits in second along with Scott Panchik. Jason Khalifa's in third, so the three of them battling for second place. Garrett Fisher on the left of your screen is trying to catch up with Marcus Hendrick, who currently occupies fifth place. Wow, the number of breaks that the, the, the bigger guys, Rich Froning and Jason Khalifa, are taking are much more significant than John Bridges. He's hammering that set of 25. Broning is trying to get through his seven reps and catch up to Bridges, who's now through 10, now 12 pull-ups through 13. He took a break at 15 last time, and he does it again this time. So Josh Bridges has a pace in his hand as Rich Broning joins him on the pull-up bar. Scott Panchin currently in third place. He's battling with Jason Kaliba for that spot. But Rich Broning doesn't need to beat Bridges here. He just needs to stay ahead of Khalifa and Fisher to stay in first place overall and get one step closer to his third straight CrossFit Games title. Now Bridges is done and moving on to the wow. barbell for the fourth time. He is absolutely on fire right now. He's moving so fast. The way he's getting through those pull-ups is just unbelievable. And again, since we have all three of these athletes on the screen, when they're doing the pull-ups, you can see how much faster his reps are going than the larger athletes. The longer arms are just killing them compared to Josh right now. And those guys have unbelievable times right now. Josh Bridges has Lacey Kovacs in his sights, as well as 100 points and $3,000. He's back on his fifth and final set of pull-ups. He's through seven. Rich Froning is on the barbell for the fourth time. He currently sits in second place, but more importantly, he's ahead of both Jason Khalifa and Garrett Fisher. Rich Frony is a, a very intelligent athlete. He knows exactly where he is and where all the other athletes are. He knows the math. He knows exactly what he needs to do. And yes, he, of course, he doesn't want to lose to Josh Bridges. But you're right. He's doing exactly what he needs to do with the stand ahead of Jason Kalipa. Bridges threw 20 pull-ups, five to go. And Lacey Kovacs is not going to have the time to beat for very much longer. Josh wow. Bridges has already pocketed three grand early in the morning. You might want to start writing that check. Josh Bridges with seven reps, and he is going to demolish Lacey Kovacs' time of 9-10. Josh Bridges won once earlier this morning. Make it twice on Saturday. Unbelievable job. Look how poised he is right there. Doesn't even look exhausted. This was a workout made and designed for him. Now the battle for second place between Rich Froning and Scott Panchik. Panchik on the right, Froning on the left. Froning with about a four rep lead on Scott Panchik. Panchik, a guy that many thought had the potential to possibly beat Froning here. You know, the, the fact that they're going head to head, that just shows what, what kind of a great athlete Scott is. Having Rich Froning right next to you, and he's just trying to chip away at him. But wow, Rich, it looks great. Rich Froning. Froning with second place overall. He's not going to get it. He won't beat Lacey Kovacs. But Rich Froning will finish second in this heat. 914.7. That ties him for fourth in this event.
but more importantly, he finishes ahead of both Jason Khalifa and Garrett Fisher. So Rick Froning has a chance now to widen his lead heading into the final three events. This is the ninth of 12 sport events in the 2013 Reebok CrossFit Games, known simply as 2007. And now Jason Khalifa on the bar for the final time. You know, even though uh, Jason didn't beat Richard, he still has a great time, still moves quickly. Again, that's not a small athlete that's doing that 125 pull-ups. Great job for Jason. He's hanging tough up at the top there. Khalifa in 9.50 flat. Pancic's time was 9.25.5. Now Marcus Hendren trying to lock up fourth place in this heat. Khalifa's result was good enough for ninth place in this event. And now Marcus Hendren is in, and he's congratulated by Josh Bridges, who looked like he just went for a brisk walk. Hendren, 10.09.7. Marcus Hendry, I'll tell you what, for, again, coming in the last the last qualifier in for that region, he is definitely right up there with Rich Froney, showing you that fifth place. Ah, he just wasn't, just wasn't prime for regionals. He's had the time to make his way, and he's peaking for the game. Ben Smith, he finishes sixth in this heat, 1030.8. That's good for 20th in this event. Wow. Justin Allen is in. Our bear, Dominic LaRouche, is in. Now Garrett Fisher, who is in third place, is going to drop. Ben Smith may have caught him. Ben Smith will finish 20th overall in this event. Garrett Fisher will finish 27th. So Ben Smith may have moved himself into third place overall. Jordan Troyan is in. Yeah, Jordan Troyan. You know, he's, Jordan Troyan's been in there in the big heat, in the big dog heat since the beginning, and he's never come out. So a great job for that rookie. Now the big Australian, Chad McKay. McKay standing six feet. He's 225 pounds. That's not a body weight that enjoys this type of movement. 125, 125 reps with that much weight, that's, that's damaging. But, you know, he's such a strong athlete. Doing, he's doing great. He gets it one rep at a time, but that's exactly what he needs to do to get through this workout. Now seven reps to go, and he'll throw this thing around like it's made of plastic. <laughs> and then he'll come across the finish line. So Chad McKay, the last man on the floor here in the fourth and final heat. And the big Australian, Chad McKay, is in. He came in 10th place overall and finished 36th in this event. But Josh Bridges, with 100 more points, he won two of the three events today. Setting ourselves up for an interesting Sunday. Bridges is first. Rich Froning finishes in second place. He'll widen his lead over Jason. Amanda Josh Bridges winning two of the three events here on Saturday. And now moves himself into sixth place overall. And he wins this event.